Legislation to ban insider trading among members of Congress is on its way to the House after being passed by the Senate on Thursday. The Senate bill includes an amendment that would extend the provisions to the executive branch as well. Joining me now, the author of that amendment, Alabama Senator Richard Shelby. Good afternoon, Senator. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Shannon. All right, I got to say that I've heard from some folks over on the House side that, you know, there's discussion of including a similar amendment or similar provision there that this would reach to the executive branch and that they're already getting some pushback. How do you think this is going to play out? I believe at the, at the end of the day, if uh, the American people see what we're trying to do, that is to make it transparent uh, for Congress as well as executive branch people, what they do on the insider information. If they trade, it's got to be disclosed. I think it will uh, uh, be the law of the land. We got uh, we passed the Senate with my amendment, which expanded the Lieberman Collin uh, uh, legislation. I think it's the right thing to do. We uh, have people in the executive branch at the SEC, uh, perhaps in a lot of independent agencies that have all kinds of confidential information that they can trade on. We ought to be across the board with it. It would be a step in the right direction, and I think it will pass. I've got the, the question I get over and over again when we cover this story, and I'm sure you've been asked many times, too. Why don't current laws apply in this situation? Don't they cover members of Congress and others? Why a separate piece of legislation? Well, it's come to uh, a lot of people's uh, knowledge recently that uh, there was really no ban on uh, members of Congress from uh, dealing in information, that is, trading on information, uh, so forth. There's always been an ethical lapse there. If you do it, you shouldn't do it. And now we're going to try to make it statutorily, and I think we ought to apply it to the executive agencies, too. Tell the American people as much as we can that we're not going to put up with this. Uh, transparency is important. Honesty and integrity is very important. All right, you mentioned Senator Lieberman. I mean, he had offered something that would have reached to maybe 2,000 executive branch employees or so. Um, yours, I, as I understand it, is to reach to maybe 28,000 or so. Uh, but there are concerns from some who say that they feel it would reach 300,000 uh, executive branch employees, um, people who don't need to be included in this legislation. Who exactly would it apply to? Uh, it would apply to people, uh, it would apply to the president, it would apply to the vice president, SEC enforcement, SEC members, you name it like this. All of us in Congress, of course, too, but my amendment uh, would apply to executive people that, that uh, I believe make $125,000 a year. It's a GS-15 type designation. They already have to file. They would just have to comply with this to and according to the Office of Government Ethics, it would be about 28,000 people. It's good for America. It's good for the idea and the reputation of the executive branch. 